Today, we are gonna be talking about my personal perspective and opinion about the psychology degree. What is up fam? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Phil Sarpon. This is Phil's Guide to Side D. This channel is dedicated to all things clinical psychology, wellness, and graduate school. The general consensus is that in the US, I'm not sure so much sure about other international countries, but in the US, you do not have to major specifically in psychology in order to uh, apply to graduate school, to apply for a master's and things like that. All you have to do is that whenever you go to schools and their websites, uh, they might require you to take uh, either an intro to psych course, abnormal psychology, or maybe even a developmental psychology course, right? They might have like four or five, maybe six courses that they require you to take before you apply to their program. Just general consensus, it's best to make sure that when you apply to these schools that you have all of the courses, you've already taken all of the courses that they need and that they require in order to complete your application. Most schools will not explicitly say that they expect you to have a psychology degree or to be a psychology major. That's not a requirement or a necessity for a lot of these schools. Then you can major in whatever you wanna major in and still apply to a lot of these clinical psychology programs. But here's the thing about my honest opinion about the psychology degree is that I think it's a little bit overrated. A lot of people major in psychology because they think it's really cool or they think it's really interesting and then they don't end up doing anything with it. And so unless you are 100% sure that if you major in psychology, that you want to get a master's in psychology, you wanna get a doctorate in psychology, then it's really, really helpful. Now, it's not to say that there aren't a lot of great career options for people who have psychology majors uh, right out of college. It's not to say that. There's definitely gonna be some options for those people. I think what you're gonna have a lot of admissions people recommend is majoring in something that you like. If you like art, if you like English, if you like business, major in something that you like, that you appreciate, that you think is a really good thing for you in terms of looking good on your resume or on your CV. And in case clinical psychology falls through or it's not something that you wanna pursue right away, you will always have a job lined up in something that you want to do and something that you like to do. In fact, I knew a lot of students who decided that they wanted to do teaching and education and that maybe in the future they want to do clinical psychology, but at least for right now, they wanted to do teaching and education. They still took all the necessary psychology courses that were required for the places that they were going to apply to. They majored in education, they became a teacher, they worked for about five years, they got a whole lot of experience working with kids, and then they applied to clinical psychology programs that had specific focuses on child psychology and pediatric psychology. Now, what was great about that is that not only did they have a major that maybe wasn't psychology specific, but it was very close, right? There's a lot of different majors that are very similar to psychology, sociology, anthropology, other different related fields, human resources, all of those things are similar to psychology. And so for them, majoring education did not hurt them at all. In fact, I think it really helped them because even though they didn't go to graduate school right away, they were able to work for a period of time, they had a lot of experience, and when they applied to those clinical psychology programs that had a child focus, they had a lot of things that they were able to talk about in their interviews, a lot of things that they were able to talk about in their personal statements. They had great letters of recommendations from supervisors who could attest that they were really, really good with kids, they still enjoyed working with kids and they wanted to continue working with kids, not as a teacher anymore, but as a psychologist. And that really helped them in their overall career. So that's one example where they decided to choose something that they liked, that they enjoyed, but they still had an end goal in mind in how they were going to use that specifically to benefit them and to have an advantage for them in terms of applying to graduate school and applying to clinical psychology programs. So what I've always recommended for students is to major in the thing that you like, that you are ready for or excited for, or it makes you wanna get up out of bed and learn more. And because the thing is, is that if you major in something that you like, you're probably gonna get really good grades in it. 
and that's gonna look really good on your GPA and it's gonna look really good on your application. And so that's great, right? If it's not a requirement or a necessity to major in psychology, why major in it just to major in it because everybody else is doing it? Why not major in something that you like and that you appreciate and that way it'll provide maybe potential opportunities for you down the road in case clinical psychology is not what you want to go into in the future, right? So I think that's one thing uh, to really keep in mind. Of course, continue to ask these questions to your mentors or to your advisors or maybe even contact these clinical psychology schools directly to see what their preference is. They may really not have a preference at all, whatever you major in, but there may be some programs that do have a preference or recommendation to major in psychology. That's completely up to them, right? And that's more so school specific than it is sort of the general consensus on this. So again, those are just my personal thoughts on the psychology major. I'm just contributing to some of the conversations that have been going on about majoring in psychology. If you guys agree with me, great. If you guys don't agree with me, that's totally fine. I'd still would love to know your comments and your reactions on whether or not you think psychology is a good major, uh, is a good psychology degree for undergrad, uh, whether or not you think it's helpful. And for students who are already in graduate school or maybe who are already working in the field, and you were psychology majors, would you still go back in time and get a psychology degree or would you do something different? I would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next